If you hate seeing every little new scratch on your watch, this just might be the case for you. It doesn't have any special kind of hardening or anything. It's just got a finish that hides scratches. I'm Wit. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, this is the Seiko SRPG39, and I absolutely love this field watch. This case has a distressed finish or a stone wash. Now, it's not like it's, uh, you know, worn over time, like a patina kind of look or effect. It's just got a uniform, uh, scratched up case to it already so you can't do it any harm you can't put any new scratches on it not to mention that this is a seiko 5 that is actually still affordable more on that later on in the video so this watch has a 39.4 millimeter case diameter 47 millimeters lug to lug 20 millimeter lug width and 13.5 millimeters thickness it weighs 73 grams on the supplied leather strap this is running the Seiko 4R36 automatic movement, beats at 21,600 vibrations per hour, or six ticks per second. It's got 24 joules, features hacking and hand winding, a quick set day and date, and about a 40 hour power reserve. Its stated accuracy is minus 35 to plus 45 seconds per day, and after almost a year of use, I clocked about 103 days of record keeping and came in at plus 5.7 seconds per day. And after just one single pass through, one position dial up on the time grapher, you can see the rate is doing pretty well. The amplitude's okay at 229 degrees, but that beat air is pretty high, 5.3 milliseconds. And again, this is after almost a year of use. So the SRPG39 has got this distressed case, uh, but like I said, not quite distressed as in uh, overly worn or, you know, an artificial um, uh, aging of time. It's just got this, you know, finish that like I mentioned in my unboxing video is more like a pewter uh, look to me. Uh, the knife guys will call it stonewash, uh, but again, it's not really um, like a worn look. It just is a very even finish of, uh, you know, a stonewash or scratched up surface. So the stainless steel case has got drilled lugs. You see this fixed bezel that is a domed hardlex crystal and uh, just a single dome there. So you get those side distortions. It's got a push-pull crown, which is 6.5 millimeters in diameter, a screw-down display case back, and 100 meters of water resistance. This is a calf leather strap, uh, one of the nicer uh, Seiko straps, very thick, 4.5 millimeters here at the watch head, down to 3.5 uh, at the tip, and uh, very thick, nice and soft, uh, great leather. And the finishing from the case carries over to the buckle as well. It's got a textured Fume dial in blue, and you've got a gilt style handset and numerals. The indices are that same gilt style, and they've got a loom plot right on top. And that's Lumi Bright on those indices and the handset. To break up some of that gold color, the seconds hand is done in black with an orange tip. The day and date wheels are black with white print, and there's a white border surrounding. The Seiko signature is applied with the remaining items on the dial being printed, meaning the Seiko 5 logo, automatic script, 24-hour markings, and the minute track. All right, let me give you my likes and dislikes. I'll start with the bad news. It's not much, but the day-date complication can be hard to read at times, uh, mainly in low light. It's just sunken down so low uh, that sometimes that the border creates a shadow for itself. And at times you can have that crystal distortion also get in the way. And that's about it, other than the fact that they put shoulderless spring bars in with this strap. Now, you do have the drilled lugs, so the strap change is easy, but come on, there's just no need for shoulderless spring bars. Now the things I want to rave about. Man, you know I'm going to talk about this case finishing. This stone wash or distress case just hides scratches like you wouldn't believe. This watch is almost a year old, and you can't even tell. I mean, every little scratch is already there <laughs> it's pre-scratched for you i just find it hard to mar this thing up but at the same time it doesn't take on an appearance that is if it's you know old or thrashed it looks like a nice watch and these gilt style numerals are definitely a favorite when the light hits it 
and you get that shimmer back at you, mm, 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 that's tasty. I could stare at that all day long. I love that it's got 100 meters of water resistance. I don't even care that it's not a screw down crown. And the leather strap. I mean, this is the best leather you'll find on a Seiko 5 sports collection. You would expect to find this on a, a much higher level Seiko. And who doesn't love Lumi Bright? Ah! I mean, this watch doesn't have a lot of loom, you know, because those indices are just kind of tainted with it. But, you know, from the handset and the little bit that you do get out of those indices, it's super bright and long lasting. That's everything I want in luminescence on a field watch. All right, availability. So these are about 295 US dollars if you order them directly from Seiko, but you can find these uh, much cheaper at other retailers. Now, I did buy this secondhand, barely used for $100. Just a flat out bargain. You're probably not going to find that every day, right? But you can still find this brand new. These were $185 uh, brand new at the time that I bought this one used uh, and then they've since gone up a little higher but you can find them around $220 US now. I'll leave links down below for some retailers that I may have found. Now if you have a smaller wrist I think you can still pull this off but if you're a little skeptical they do make similar watch in a 36 millimeter version. The SRPJ85 or the SRPJ81 each have a dark colored dial like this one. After almost a year, I am super happy with this watch. It's great to have a great value piece from Seiko again. What do you think? Leave your comments down below. I'd love to interact with you. And I'll catch you in the next one. I'm Wit with so many watches, so little time and money.